Welcome back to Cinemation. Today, I will explain the movie The Thinning, an American thriller drama. Beware of spoilers, it's 2039, and the Earth is so overpopulated that the human race is at risk of extinction. All nations are required to reduce their population by 5% annually, according to the United Nations. The United States follows these orders and implements the thinning in the thinning rule. Students must take a standard test each year. The test is administered by injecting a drug to anyone who fails. Lena Michaels tutors Simon, a high school student. Simon appears to struggle with the equations. He asks Lena to get him something. She pulls out a set of lenses and gives it to Simon. Simon is able to solve all the math problems as soon as he puts on his lenses. Other, we are introduced to Edward Blake, who is reading the Sun Texas Governor to Redding. He sneaks out of the house at night to meet his girlfriend Ellie Harper in his vehicle. Blake begins to talk about the test that they will take the next day. Blake assures Ellie that she will pass the test. Ellie is nervous, but Blake then tells her that Blake's father's guard found them and brought Blake back to Dean's office. Blake is disappointed that Blake escaped the night before an important test. Blake thinks Ellie is distracting. The next day, it's the day of your test. There were many students lining up outside the school. Before they can enter, they must pass a rigorous security check. Blake requests Lena to borrow one of her study glasses, but she's out of them. Kellen Woods and Lena Woods, her friend, stand in line for entry. One student had cheats written on his arms. He tries to flee after being caught. He is captured by the guards. He is taken into custody. Blake and Ellie hug one last time inside the school before they enter the exam hall. The test will take them two hours. Each person starts to solve the problems using their tablet. Lena is the first person to solve all of them. Kaylin, her friend, seems to be having trouble. They immediately receive the results after the exam has ended. One teacher calls out names of students who have failed to pass the exam. The students are nervous and hoping that the teacher will soon end this. The guards take those who fail. They yell, resist the guards, and some even try to flee. Students who refuse to submit would be beaten up by the guard. But fortunately Blake and Lena Kellen were able to pass. The guards take Blake's girlfriend Ellie away. But Blake's girlfriend Ellie is called at the last minute by the teacher. He calls his father quickly and asks him to assist Ellie. His father disagrees and says that the law applies to everyone. He is frustrated and runs to enjoy the taste of his favorite food. Ellie was not able to escape so he attacked the guards. Nobody was able to escape. Blake tries to help Ellie, but he has no other options. Now it is a year later and only 24 hours until the thinning test begins. It's Catherine, his little sister's first thinning test. The doorbell rings. Lena's teacher, Ms. Birch, rings. She has been caring for Lena since the death of their mother and Korean as her own children. Lena is worried about her sister and Karen tomorrow's test, so she tries to calm it down. However, she assures them everything will be fine. Blake is recording a video in his bedroom to teach his father a lesson. He plans to make all the wrong answers on the test. Lena takes Lena to her kindergarten and presents her with a video animation that shows the current state the earth. All nations are required to reduce their population by 5% annually. Some countries allowed couples to have one child while others made the older generation go to America. However, the government chose to keep the best and execute the rest. These children are not exceptions. Their teacher is then saddened that some of these children will be executed as part of the children's test. Kellen and Lena also enter the school to take their test. In no time, the test begins and ends. Governor Dean discovers Blake's recording and becomes agitated. Mason King, the test manager, calls Dean and orders him pass Blake regardless his score. Mason swaps his score with Lena, making Lena fail. To everyone's surprise, the test results have been revealed and she fails it. As they are taking Ms. Birch, the guard stops her and says that she is her best student. There must be something wrong. The results cannot be altered and are final. She gives Lena a card to unlock the doors and allow her to escape. Blake is shocked to have not failed. Students who have passed arrive at a school party in celebration of their achievements. Dean, who is the governor, gives a speech to announce his presidency for President of the United States. Their education system is what he boasts about. Their education system is the best among all 196 countries. The crime rate has fallen by 26%. Blake listens to the speech of his father while at the party and then sneaks out. He then sneaks down the hall and beats one guard. He then enters the control room. Lena and other students who failed are then taken into a room where they are placed against a wall. For decontamination, they are required to take off all their clothes. Lena and her friends are then taken to a room where they are being executed by lethal injection. The whole school goes dark when Blade suddenly cuts off the electricity. The students, who are about to be executed, take this opportunity and run.
Lena is the only one who succeeds. Lena uses the keycard that her teacher gave her to get out of the room. Mason soon follows her and asks for a headcount. They discover that Lena has disappeared and begin to search for her. Blake helps Lana fight one of the guards and finds Lana. They begin to talk and realize that Blake and Lena had been wrong. Both enter the event and then hide. They follow the network cables and reach the server room, where they can view the results via the computer. The school remains in total lockdown as a result of the power outage. All across the state, the news is broadcast. Parents are starting to worry. Governor Dean calls Mason to inquire about the situation. Blake falls into the pool below as a result of the events below. Lena jumps after him. He is still not breathing when she lifts him from the water. Lena administers CPR to him and somehow manages the rescue. Blake and Lena were able to change into the clothes they found in the lockers at the pool. The guard is standing in front of the door as they continue through the vents. Lena's keycard also falls through the vent in front of the guard. She doesn't see the card, but she must get it back. She plans to head to the science laboratory and join a string that has a magnet to catch the key through the event. Then they will go down to the lab to retrieve any equipment required. The guard approaches the lab when they make a loud noise in the laboratory. They flee quickly. Lena is able to return to the vents, but Blake remains hidden in the lab. Lena moves to retrieve the keys. It is a successful climb that Lena manages when a guard suddenly grabs it. It turns out it was Blake disguised as the guard. He beat the guard and changed his clothes quickly. Mason learns from the guard that Mason and Lena had attacked earlier about their encounter. Mason discovers that Lena was carrying a keycard. He gathers the teachers together, suspecting that someone might have given it to their students. Ms. Birch appears in the room along with other teachers. She has a brief affair with another teacher, and she manages to get his keycard. Mason checks on teachers to see if they have their ID cards or keycards. Verse saves herself by showing the card to them. The other teacher is unable to find his Mason so he threatens him with telling them where Lena is. He insists that he doesn't know anything. But Mason beats him. Lena finally makes it to the server room. Mason protected the computer with a password, but she opens it using her keycard. Kellen, a hacker who can help her get access to the computer, texts her. Cullen then receives Lena's text. He helps her get to Mason's computer. Lena searches for her results, but she fails to find 98%. Blake received 15%. She did more research in the past and found out that Ellie had also failed to get 88%, while those with lower marks than her got passed. Lena discovers that the grading system has been rigged, and that the governor is failing anyone he wants to. Lena sends Mason a file that contains rigged grades in an attempt to kill him. Mason discovers she is hiding in the server room when the power goes back on. Later, she realizes and runs. Mason captures her almost immediately. Blake, on the other side, is still disguised. He is there with those who have failed. He orders the guard that they go to the recreational area with the other students. The guard refused to let them go and they got into a fight. Guards restrain him until they discover his identity. Kellen is shocked to discover that the results were rigged when he receives Lena's message. Kellen has a friend who is a news anchor so he quickly sends an email to the news channel. The news broadcast showed the receipts and results of the altercation after the photos were leaked. His party head calls the governor and threatens to retake his presidential candidacy. He refuses to allow that to happen. Dean Reading charges Mason with all sorts of accusations and pretends he is innocent. He attempts to prove it so he can execute all those who failed, even his son Blake. Mason and the guards enter the fitting room to execute her along with the other students at the school. Lena and the other students who pass the test are released by the guards. Blake is kissed by Lena, but Blake is taken in by the guards. They inject them with a drug and execute them. Lena, her younger sister, is released from lockdown and reunited with him. We see Miss Birch is cut off a few hours later as we witness the bodies of the students being taken underground by an elevator. They begin to move and reveal that the drug they received was a sleeping drug. They stopped when they reached a place that looked like a factory. It's filled with products being manufactured by tech company Ashuru Global. The factory employs many people. Blake is then surprised to discover that Ellie is his girlfriend. This means that the students who were supposed to be executed are actually taken underground to work for a multi-million dollar company as slaves. The government planned this as a way to obtain free labor. Subscribe to receive more videos like these and leave a like. We'll see you in the next one.